Hi, I'm Barry Worthington. I'm a filmmaker, director, writer, and actor. If you don't know who I am, you can check out more about my work at LimitlessFilms.com. You can also follow along with me on Instagram at Barry Makes Films. And then there's Vimeo and YouTube. Okay, go time. I recently made a social media poll where I was asking, based on the options of Metroid, uh, Half-Life, Horizon, and Galaga, which of those would you like to see turn, adapted from a video game into a film? I made a video about addressing all of the challenges and opportunities if you were to make uh, a film adaptation out of each one of those. I also made a video talking about what I would do if I personally were to make a Galaga film adaptation, just because I thought that was kind of interesting and to address the question of like, okay, how would I do that, especially since that game doesn't have a whole lot of plot in it. I told you I'd make a video about what are some of my favorite video game film adaptations, which I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to make a video about if I could choose any video games that I wanted to turn into films, which ones would I choose? Okay, talking about some of my favorite film adaptations from video games, uh, just a few of my favorites right off the top of my head. Number one, I love the 1993 Super Mario Brothers film, the original one, with Bob Hoskins as Mario and John Leguizamo as Luigi. I love this movie for all kinds of different reasons. I can get into it a lot more, you know, maybe some other time. But for now here, are just some of the, the first few reasons off the top of my head why I like that movie so much. Number one, I actually really like the interpretation, and I actually think it's really ahead of its time. It certainly goes in its own direction, but I thought it was really interesting. I love Bob Hoskins' portrayal as Mario. He brings a maturity to the role, and also I think he's pretty relatable. And I love John Leguizamo's portrayal as Luigi. You have to remember, by this point, uh, I think, obviously, the first couple Super Mario Brothers games had come out, and I believe the Super Mario Brothers Super Show had come out, and this movie obviously went in a very different direction than what came before it. But I love, you know, to start off, you know, they are, you know, these two plumbing brothers based in Brooklyn, which I don't even remember from the first couple games it's ever established that they are from Brooklyn. I believe the Super Mario Brothers Super Show might be one of the first times that ever comes up, and it, it stayed as part of the story of Mario ever since, you know, generally speaking, especially in the film adaptations. And I loved John Leguizamo's portrayal as Luigi. He was youthful and energetic. He was really funny. And I also thought he was really relatable. I loved the dynamic between Mario and Luigi in that film. What was kind of interesting is that they made Mario a decent amount older than Luigi. And they talked about how Mario actually kind of helped raise Luigi. So I thought it was really heartfelt and I, I really liked that uh, Mario cared about Luigi not just as, you know, a brother would care about another brother. Mario also cares about Luigi kind of with a, a I don't know if I'd go this far to say, but you know, maybe a little bit of a paternal instinct because he helped raise Luigi. So he's looking out for him in that way too. But what I think is really cool is Mario is older than Luigi and is looking out for him in that way, but also Luigi has a thing or two to teach Mario, who is the much older brother. So I thought that relationship and those dynamics were really cool. I love the interpretation of Koopa. I love the interpretation of the Mushroom Kingdom. I loved Yoshi in that movie, and I think that animatronic is pretty miraculous. I love the portrayal of Princess Daisy. I love so much about that movie. I love the costume design. I even like all these little things, like there's a little bomb bomb in the movie. I love that, uh, you know, they have those, aren't, aren't they like the original Nintendo, like, you know, gun things that are firing? I love that they jump, you know, they, they have these, you know, boot things that make them jump, just like Mario is supposed to jump. I love the interpretation. I thought it was really cool. All right, quickly, quickly. Some other ones just off the top of my head that I really like. I really love the 1995, the original, Mortal Kombat film adaptation. I love the casting. One of the first things I think of when I think of that movie is when I was a kid, when it came out, uh, the original poster art, it's just this like black background and then the Mortal Kombat symbol, uh, but it's, it looks like it's carved out of stone. It's really sick looking. I also remember this key art where, uh, I, don't, I don't remember exactly where I saw this, but I think it was like the grocery store or something like that. Um, it was the, it was the Mortal Kombat logo and it was black and I want to say it was like backlit. The whole the whole image has like a sepia tone to it or something. And like there's all these like rays of light and then there's like a mountaintop and Goro is on top of it going like this in front of the logo. Plus this. I love so much about that film. The casting, the music. I dig that opening music. The special effects. That whole fight with Johnny Cage and Scorpion. I love just the little insight we get into each of the main characters' backstories. Growing up, and even still now, my favorite two characters from Mortal Kombat are Johnny Cage, because he's an actor, and also Sub-Zero, and partially because Sub-Zero is blue. Hey, I love the fight choreography in that film. I love the original Mortal Kombat film. Okay, another one real quick. 
I love the original Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider film and I, I love the sequel as well. I haven't seen the newest one, but I love that original one. I thought she helped inject a really great personality into that character. I just thought the movie was great too. All right, those are the first ones I can think of off the top of my head. Now I want to take this up a notch. Uh, I want to talk about some video games based on films that I really liked. So number one is Goldeneye from the Nintendo 64. I love the film Goldeneye and I love the game Goldeneye. Both of those helped me really get into James Bond. When I think of Goldeneye, both the video game and the film, I think of everything being very, very sleek, but also kind of dark. That's a tone that I think both the game and the film have, and the game was able to really capture that well from the film. But there's one interesting element about Goldeneye the game um, that I think is a kind of interesting contrast to the movie. Which, you know, the, the, the spy genre that James Bond is in, you know, when you think of spies, you know, I would generally think they're supposed to be kind of stealthy and pretty low profile. There's nothing low profile about Goldeneye 64. It's a pretty explosive game. You are going in and out of locations, like blasting the place to bits. It's not exactly what you think a spy would be doing. Now, granted, in Goldeneye, the film, you know, James Bond is blasting his way out of, you know, at least a location or two. I mean, he's driving a tank through a city, for goodness sakes. And that scene is awesome, by the way. And there's awesome music in that scene. Would you do that in the game as well? But nonetheless, you know, you'd think, you know, wrecking havoc as you do in Goldeneye in the game is kind of contrary to what a spy should be doing. But whatever, the game is awesome. And it also has great music as well. The film has great music and the game has great music. Okay, moving on, some other ones just off the top of my head. I love Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace for PlayStation 1, obviously adapted from the film. Something I love in that game is you actually uh, have some choices for uh, how to interact with other characters and, and events. It's something you would see again a couple years later in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which is another one of my favorite games. And there's a bunch of stuff that happens in the game that doesn't happen in the movie that kind of help build out the world a little bit more, which I really appreciate and I thought was really neat. Another adaptation I can think of is I love the original Power Rangers Super Nintendo game. And I don't know if this counts, because uh, I don't know if this technically is based on a comic book or an animated series, but let's throw it in there anyway. I, I think it, it, it can count. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, especially Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, I think it's two turtles in time. I don't even know if I've ever beaten that game, but I just love it so much, especially sewer surfing. Big Apple, 3 a.m. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for me. But leave me a comment, tell me what are some of your favorite films that are adapted from video games and what are some of your favorite video games that are adapted from films? All right, bye for now.